Good day again to you children. Today, we will learn how to round off decimals. Get ready, stay focused and learn. Rounding is a process to estimate a particular number in a condition. Rounding decimals refer to the rounding of decimal numbers to an exact measure of correctness. We can round decimals to the nearest holes, tenths, or hundredths. Rounding decimals is useful to estimate an answer easily and quickly. It is also useful to find out the estimated average score of the students in a class. Let's start by using the number line in rounding off decimals. Let me read you a story problem. Mokasig's pet tortoise traveled 3 and 28 hundredths meters in a day. Round the distance to nearest tenths. Take a look at the decimal 3 and 28 hundredths. Which decimal number is it close to? Is it at 3 and 20 hundredths or at 3 and 30 hundredths? That's right, it's close to 3 and 30 hundredths. Therefore, when we round off 3 and 28 hundredths to the nearest tenths using a number line, the answer is 3 and 30 hundredths. Mokasig's pet tortoise traveled 3 and 30 hundredths meters in one day. The number line will help in understanding the estimation methods, but it cannot be used in all cases. We need a ruling that is the same as we estimate whole numbers. What is the first step in rounding off? Right. That is finding the digit of the rounding place value. And this is digit 2. Next, find the number on the right side of the rounding digit and it is 8. If this digit is greater than 4, we will round up or add 1 to the rounded digit. So, digit 2 will become 3, and the remaining digits to their right will be zeros, or we may not write any more. Therefore, our answer to rounding up the decimal to 3 and 28 hundredths is 3 and 3 tenths. What if the next digit in the right of the rounded digit is 4 or less? What could happen? That's right, it will round down or everything on his right will become zeros or even if we don't write any more. Therefore, the answer in rounding the decimal to 3 and 24 hundredths is only 3 and 2 tenths. Let us now solve the problem before using the rules in rounding off decimals. Rounding 3 and 28 hundredths to the nearest hundredths. The first thing we will do is find the digit of the rounding place value, and this is digit 2. Next, we will find out which digit is to the right of it, and it is 8. And since it is greater than 4, we will round up or add 1 to digit 2 and it will become 3. Then the remaining digits to their right will be zero or we can drop it. Therefore, when we round off 3 and 28 hundredths to the nearest tenths, the answer is 3 and 3 tenths. So, Mokasig's pet tortoise traveled 3 and 3 tenths meters in one day. Let's have another example. Merikit spends 5 and 20 one hundredths hours each day for schooling. Estimate the amount of time to the nearest hour. And because our estimation is to the nearest hour, it means that we can estimate in whole numbers. So 5 is our estimated digit, and the one to the right of it is 2, which is less than 5 so let's round down. 
5 will retain, and the digits to their right will be zeros, or we can drop it. To round off 5 and 20 one hundredths to the nearest whole number it is 5. Therefore, Merikit studies for 5 hours a day. The last example is Mayumi watched her favorite movie with a length of 59 and 947 thousandths minutes, but she rounded the time to the nearest hundredths. What is the rounded number of minutes? Find the rounding place, and that is 4. Then identify the digit to its right which is 7. 7 is greater than 4, so let's round up. Add 1 to 4 and it will be 5. The remaining digits to their right will be 0 or we may not write. That is when we round off 59 and 947 thousandths to the nearest hundredths, the answer is 59 and 95 hundredths. Therefore, Mayumi's favorite movie lasts 59 and 95 hundredths minutes. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get more new video lesson updates. I hope you learned something from our lesson today. Goodbye. See you on the next video lesson.